talent, long-awaited return, just 28 years, one fight in three and a half years, former Commonwealth champion at light medal, gold medal at the Commonwealth Games back in 2006, a huge night for him. It'll be Alex and Barry after your MC, Mark Burdis. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest this evening is eight three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Firstly, weighing in 12 stone, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black and white shorts, with a record of eight wins, eight losses, with four draws, with four KOs. Please welcome from Huddersfield, Alistair Burt Warren. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the green and black shorts, weighing in 12 stone, two pounds, with an unbeaten record of 17 wins with nine KOs. Please welcome a former Commonwealth champion from Swindon, Jamie Cox. Your referee in charge of the action is Rob Chalmers of Swaddling Coat, who will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Got it, got it, shake hands, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, eight three minute rounds. It's the return to action of Jamie Cox. Boxing fans haven't seen much of him in recent years, as Jim said. He's only fought once in the last three years plus, and it's his first entrance into the ring since June of 2013. He was giving Alistair Warren the eyeball all the way throughout the introductions, Barry. He'll be pleased to be back. He's a guy with a lot of natural ability. Oh, yeah, a real talent. Oh, oh. Right hook, one of the first punches of the fight. Uh, Warren with a little stutter, he wasn't sure which corner to go to, whether it was neutral or otherwise. What a start. And I think Warren's still shaking. And Cox is going after him here. Right hooks, left hooks to body and head. Big heavy punches from Cox, who's back here at middleweight. Of course, we knew him formerly as a light middle. Looks strong, though, doesn't he, at middleweight? Real strong. Warren hasn't had time to warm up, settle down, get into the fight. But it was just a right hook, look up behind the ear, didn't it? Just made him a little bit more beyond the legs, didn't know where he was. And what an onslaught. Then after that, don't, don't well to stay on his feet. As Warren, who we know is a tough kid. Yeah, well, he's been the distance with John Ryder. Warren, he was taken out in three by Chris Eubank Jr. He lost in five to Tommy Langford, who's on this bill. Also on, on a middleweight. All business though from Jamie Cox. I guess given the inactivity, just got to be careful he doesn't sort of blow himself out here. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if he's got a lot of time to catch up. He wants to be impressive, but yeah, you got to be careful he doesn't uh, have that a little onslaught, get into, get into a little bit of a, an untidy battle. With Lee Beard. And partly now as well, spends a bit of time training up in Manchester as well as Chelmsley Wood. In that butcher's basement. And I think that all the talk in the build-up was that maybe Cox can sometimes be his, his own worst enemy, you know, not boxing, getting into scraps. Yeah, well, you've got some lovely skills and... Oh, get a lovely hook there. It's that counter right hand, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we can't see it coming. just said stop boxing as that punch came in and that is a fight stopper Warren cut over the right eye and he's been told to stay down he wants to get up um, and he's still on very very unsteady legs they need to get a stool in there ASAP the heavy left hook wasn't it get him sat down the strange thing is Barry I don't know if it came through on on the, the sort of live TV but that punch landed at the same time the referee was just saying stop boxing. Yeah, I don't think it mattered any which way. Just keep your eye on the referee to the right. Oh, good shot, lovely shot. I don't think it was, even though I think the referee called stop boxing as he was throwing a shot, or maybe just before, who knows, but I don't think Alistair Warren had stopped. He, yeah. It was not as if he'd looked and turned the referee at any point. 
It was no. just a really good shot, wasn't it? Wow. Excellent. Uh, what a comeback. What a punch. And you can see the celebration, what it means to Jamie Cox to be back in a ring, but doing that as well. He looks strong and powerful at middleweight, doesn't he? he doesn't, doesn't, look, you know, not look, doesn't look like a light middleweight coming up. He looks big for the weight. Well, Chris Eubank Jr. is going to be challenging for an interim world title yeah. in just a couple of weeks live on Box Nation. It, it took him three rounds. Well, he's, a good, he's a good addition to a great to a great division in, in Britain at the moment. Martin Murray next week, Box for a world title. You know, this, it's on fire. Billy Joe Saunders is going to be fighting for a world title soon. Absolutely. And nice to see them at touch gloves. Generous applause as well from the Civic Hall crowd when they saw Alastair Warren. Bert is back on his uh, feet. Jimmy Cox is just back. Ladies and gentlemen, at 2 minutes 30 seconds of the first round, the fight has been stopped. The winner by TKO from Swindon in the blue corner, Jamie Cox. Big smile on the face of Jimmy Cox. I'm sure there's been times, two hand operations in recent years. There must be times when he wondered whether he'd get himself back into the position. He is, and boy, is he back. Absolutely right, and it's good to see Bert there taking notice as well. There were two frightening knockdowns, really, but he's up and smiling. Bunsey will have a word with Jamie Cox in just a moment. Um, give us your, before we see the knockdowns, just give us, Gary Lockett, your immediate assessment of the return of Jamie Cox. Well, he's certainly back. You know, he's, he's announced himself on the middleweight division um, with a big bang there. You know, um, he landed that punch, first of all, the right hook around the ear and dropped him. He did load up and sort of blow himself out, out a little bit, but then he relaxed and, and he came, you know, with another barrage there against the ropes. I mean, I think the referee did call stop, but I don't think I don't think Warren had actually stopped fighting. Uh, it had no effect. Let's you know, have no. a look at the first knockdown. First of all, um, he stormed out of the stormed blocks, out. didn't I mean, he? It was almost as if he, you know he, he, he was out to make a statement, wasn't it? That you know, he, he, be he belongs at the, you know along the elite and the domestic. It was a, a good shot. Like he was he was taken by surprise as much as anything. Alistair there. And here's it is the end, Gary, and uh, that is a. A, a heck of a knockdown, a heck of a shot. Yeah, it is, but look, he's got that one-punch power, and um, he always has had. I think he's always loaded up a little bit, and he's not landed the, landed the punch, but you could see that he's got that one-punch power, which makes him an exciting addition to this middleweight division. Yeah, great. Uh, Bert Warren is just behind our camera over there, actually smiling and joking. He is absolutely fine. We want to hear from Jamie Cox, though. Let's say a, a very good evening to Bunsey. On you go, Bunsey. Yeah, hi, Jim. Um, Jamie, um, fantastic. Been away a long time. Good finish. Took your time. Simple question. Where have you been? Um, just one thing or another. Uh, you know, I've been training for quite a while, and I John with you for quite a while now since I've been back. I always keep him involved in fitness. Uh, you know, I started trying. I had a fight, and it didn't really progress from there. Uh, and thanks to Frank Warren, he gave me the opportunity. Lee, my manager, and John Costello, my coach. You know, they spoke to Frank and got me back in. And uh, yeah, I trained really, really hard for this. I'm older, 28. Listened to what they said. Moved up to middleweight. And uh, yeah. I'm happy with that performance. Now you're 12, 12 2 tonight, but middleweight's not a problem. Yeah, uh, 12 2. I was 11 9 yesterday. Oh, okay. So, just yeah. relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, Alistair, Alistair fought Chris Eubank Jr. You know, Chris Eubank Jr. done him in three rounds. Alistair's a tough kid. I've got a lot of respect for him, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, he's, he's a big lad, especially for me moving up from 11 stone to 11 6. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied with that performance. My, my coach just said touch him to the body, and that's what I started off doing early on with, and peppering with a jab. In the ring, it's never been a problem. You've done what you had to do in the ring. I mean, yeah. the Commonwealth title fight was such a long time ago. You had yeah. that little fight back in 2013 or whenever it was. We know you've got the talent in the yeah. ring. You can do the stuff in the ring. You love it in the ring. That's your playground. Yeah. It's outside the ring that it's been the problem in the past. Have you sorted things out? Is your head in the right place? Yeah, just training. And sitting home watching movies, you can't get a more boring life than that. So I don't know, you know, I don't really do anything. I've got a little gym. Um, and uh, yeah, and also I'd just like to say, Mark Lloyd, the last time I fought in Wolverhampton, I had a, a you know, a, a controversial fight, but a great fight with Mark here, and he's here today. I was, I was coming out of retirement, but sod that now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, to be honest with you, I like my good fighters to have boring lives. Well done, Jamie. Back to you, Jim. Yeah, well done.